Welcome back everyone today I have another video and today we're playing Marco and um, wow let me tell you this leader is extremely good uh, the, the reason why it's good is mainly because you can play Sanji stack whatever you want and then play for free uh, that is very very powerful when you have cards like uh, Silver's Riley uh, this guy is absolutely insane uh, I, I didn't think it was gonna be that good but I've been playing more and more of this guy and he's definitely one of the best red cards that has come out out of the news uh, like recently uh, on par with dragon and on par with any other uh, card that you can play better than white beer in this deck uh, incredible to say but it is that good uh, it allows you to come back on the games that are difficult and allows you to against black decks you just kill everything they have um, against uh it's it just so good against so many decks um that white beer doesn't have as much value as this guy has it's just so much better than anything else that you can be playing on this spot so uh definitely the card that over performs in this deck has been one uh, like this card is really gonna make a, a wave see if people start playing this card you're gonna see how powerful it is in any matchup there is no matchup where this card is bad and so yeah definitely this is what you want to play out of the sanji or you can play it on curve because it's an a drop play and it allows you to stabilize uh and then from there you start playing sanji's and from there you start uh, really getting ahead ahead and and winning the game right uh, another card that you get to play out of the Riley could be Boa, uh, an AK attacker that makes something not able to attack. Pretty pretty good for what it does. And you can also play it on Curve. I, I prefer Boa over something like Ace that you can also play on this lot. Because Boa is able to deal with like the early Zoro aggression. Uh, that's a deck that is probably going to be a uh, popular this set and uh, being able to stun something and remove a one drop is very important very meaningful and you kind of want to have as many of these effects as, as possible as ace is not as good a, a, as boa in that regards because you can go second and you can do this this type of things you can go boa into riley and then you stabilize pretty well into like a, a zoro matchup right um, another card that you can play is Ace. Ace, you can play it on Curve. You can play it on uh, Off Curve. It doesn't matter. You can play it on Seven. Depending on what the matchup requires you, uh, this card is nicks out like the blocker more than anything. This is the more the better the better target that you can play with the with the Sabo. Uh, but you will also have some other targets like uh, uh, Kindu and and Josu. Even though they're two K counters, that's the main reason we're playing them. Uh, they're targets that you can sneak in uh, every now and then and they're pretty decent uh, I didn't think any of the other targets were good enough so I think double 6k that you can play or a Sabo blocker is pretty good and I like that against uh, a removal heavy decks or uh, decks that are gonna be, be able to remove two cards per turn um, another card that is you you might think uh this card is kind of troll but it's not and these two are very important for this deck uh, the early game on this deck is is not the greatest so being able to have a car that draws cars and they have to attack it is very good and especially with this leader if you're able to stack this 2k the pudding on top of the deck and then you play the Ivankov play the pudding bounce it back to your hand and then it's basically like you draw a car right there and then you get to uh, draw a car again uh, on attack next turn if it survives very very strong and they have to attack it so it, it buys you a lot of time and that's what you want in this matchup in this deck as long as you can buy a lot of time you're gonna be able to get to your sanji turns to your riley turns and you're gonna take over because those cards are so overwhelmingly powerful that you can um definitely uh get ahead by, by that so you just have to get out of the early game the best that you can and then later into the game uh you're gonna be able to come back uh that's also why the leader ability is so important because uh, giving something minus 2k on top of uh, fixing your hand and finding the right pieces uh is very very good and that's another reason why we have pilaf we're trying to defend early game we don't want to take too much damage we just want to draw cards we want to find our pieces and pilaf is just great and then after we do all our sanji uh shenanigans you can do like a, a boa hancock into pilaf or you can play a blocker into pilaf double pilaf you can draw this many combinations where pilaf is actually be like you're able to uh, add it to the combination of cards that you can do and uh, that's why we, we play it as a full place it really underrated card in 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 blue like in, in any no nami deck but now in this deck in marco it makes a lot of sense and it makes it extremely powerful for what it can do um 
this is the deck uh let me know what you think i have a lot of 2k cards in this deck because i don't want to take too much damage early and this is the best way that you can do it you're going to be tapping out a lot with this deck so i didn't want to add more events i don't think i have that many bricks in the deck i only have uh six um and the pillars the pillars are pseudo bricks i guess um I, so i don't have that many bricks in the deck so i i don't think i need this zero cost you can also add some zero cost if you're having that trouble but i haven't had that problem just yet uh so i think the deck just works perfectly it's, it's been working really well and i do think it's one of the strongest decks of this format um maybe it was really bad against uh law uh, they like um, uh, overseas and that's why I didn't see so much play but I do definitely see now like I haven't found the deck that beats it I haven't lost yet with this deck uh, I'm sure that it's a bad matchup but however that's the one thing that Marco does have which is is adaptable to any like any deck like if, if your problem is something like black yellow Luffy you cannot uh, put in so you can bottom deck their hand like there's so much custom like customization with this deck like if black decks are your bad matchup you can switch boa for um for ace and on and then you have more removal that way and then that way just even even better against black decks which is pretty good of course uh but i didn't think that red decks were my 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 black decks were my bad matchup honestly rayleigh is very good against those and boa is still decent against those decks um if if aggro is is, is your bad matchup you can have more options for aggro decks there is so much customization that you can do with this de leader depending on what's good against the leader and um that's what makes it so powerful at the moment i think uh definitely definitely a contender in my eyes uh for what i've seen the deck do is very consistent because you're drawing cards if there is something that is breaking your hand you send it to the bottom if there's something that you just want to keep you keep it on top so it just allows you to keep seeing more cards more cards and um get to your combos consistently get to your cards consistently which is very important for a deck like marco of course um let me know what you think um this letter has been really amazing but let the game uh, gameplay speak for me and uh, yeah let's thank you for watching and uh, we started testing with uh black luffy a uh, deck that i think is going to be really popular next set so already and we're going second uh they want to take first from us because they don't want us to play sandy on curve i assume uh but second works for us either way uh i don't think it's that big of an issue um it just to stop us from playing like back to back sangis like in like in succession but it, it's fine either way uh here he attacks for six and play a brand new we're definitely gonna corner early on we don't want to take life early especially when we have something like uh ivankov into um take a 2k and then get it back it's it's all good here right and we draw another sanji not the greatest here but we do get to uh do with the combo here which is uh play the um perona and then i mean the pudding put it put it on top play the Vankov, i draw the pudding so basically it's just a draw one uh he uses ice age i'm not that mad about this um even though i could have played around it uh, if he's using Ice Age on this card, then he won't have Ice Age for other uh, of my creatures, which is fine. It's not the biggest deal. So, so I, I am okay with this result. It's not the biggest problem ever. Uh, here we draw um, Ulti, which is great. Um, I do want some more 2Ks. Here I could get the Marco, uh, or I could try to find a Riley as soon as possible. But I think I kind of want to make the Marco play next turn. Um, I could also just play Boa next turn. Uh, but then I'm not guaranteed to get anything to play with the Sanji that is strong. So what I can do is play the uh, the Ace, play the Marco next turn. And then, um, and then the following turn, play a Sanji, play a Boa. And then play a Sanji again the, the following turn. Like that's also a strong turn. We're gonna have a bunch of characters on board, and it's not gonna be that big of a deal, right? So I also thought that was a decent play for uh for my end, right? Now uh on seven energy he could play Jack immediately, but he could also be uh scared of me playing like an ace uh on curve, 
which would be bad for him. And he has a Nico Robin now. Again, and he used one Ice Age. Maybe he doesn't have enough or, or just flat out didn't have the, uh, the, the, the Jack. Uh, and now he's maybe forced to play Nico Robin just to play around um, the... Uh, the leader's effect but that also tapping the jack to ko something i can just ko try to ko it with marco that's why he's not like he probably is trying to play around like an uh, seven cost rage or uh, ace if he does have a jack um uh but you can just be setting up the the the, the robin so he can have a stronger turn next turn right uh, he can like do jack and ko something and and move on from there right uh or han we haven't taken damage or turns are gonna be very strong sanji into sanji uh and his board is so far not uh, that amazing gecko is good but it's not as good that's the problem with this luffy they don't mill as much therefore their geckos are okay but they're not a uh, busted uh like uh in, in rob lucy or any other black leader that mills so yeah their, their geckos are okay but now like game breaking or anything like that right now rebecca is still a good play here um i'm gonna put the uh boa as i was saying on top and then uh it doesn't matter who i minus i will however attack for six probably deploy the boa i'm gonna deploy the boa first uh, lock the gecko so it cannot attack there's an argument for locking the robin too um i just didn't want to get have to out combo the gecko like i assume he's gonna remove something on my board but maybe it is okay to just lock the robin and force him to use removal here uh it's not terrible but like use it like an ice age or something like that so i can attack it the gecko moria next turn maybe uh but he does have a blocker and i'm okay if he, if he attacks with the nickel robin because i know i can minus it with my uh leader and i can attack it so uh I um, just don't want to get the pressure of the uh, of the Gecko Moria. That's that was it. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any more two Ks in my hand, so I do have to let the Ace die. I don't want to have to combo to this one, but that would have been an amazing just two K there. And I just kind of want to take another life, so my Marco is alive. Um, my four cost Marco, so I'm okay. Yeah, this is not the worst case scenario, I guess. Is uh, like it's, I'm still okay in in, in some ways. Uh, he attacks for seven. I take so I can my Marco can be alive, and then he plays a Sabo. His board is menacing somewhat, but it's not the end of the world. Like I can deal with this. He has six cards in hand, so I assume he oh, five cards in hand. So he's gonna have to defend my board now, and that's why I didn't attack with Ulti because I didn't want her to get attacked. Because uh, now I can attack with everything here. I could try to get Saki and put an ace on top of the deck and then the ace plays something else but i have a full board so i like that play doesn't make much sense and i'd rather just draw a card with uh with ulti so i can set up my next turn very well right now i make uh the uh the robin a minus five i attack with five 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 see if the opponent wants to combo he just gives me a 2k uh or block so then uh, i get to uh, play the sanji instead uh, play the ulti. I do want the Riley, but I don't want the other two cards because um, I don't know what's gonna happen. I could have kept the 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 boa and draw two with the pilaf, but I think Riley next turn is gonna be extremely powerful because uh, my opponent only has three cards in hand. So uh, I assume this turn he's gonna be able to remove like three cards and leave me with like the Marco and the boa, and I'll have somewhat of a of an of an okay hand. But after that, what is my opponent gonna do? Like, how is he gonna beat me? It's like the main reason, right? I don't want to combo out of everything because he's going to attack with Gecko and I don't know if I'm going to have to defend the Gecko at one of my Boas or something else. So let's just let it die for right now. I don't want to combo out of seven. Uh, if anything, I'll take the Gecko to the face if that's where he wants to go. But uh, I, I will... I, that's probably better for me. Now he uh, attaches a Brook, another Ice Age. Okay, so what he can do is attack with Brook, KO the Sanji, uh, minus the ulti, and then play a Jack and KO the, uh, my ulti probably. Uh, he concedes here. I think he made a mistake. He minus my Sanji and KO the Sanji. I think he wanted to uh, minus my ulti and KO the, with, with the Jack. Regardless if, if that was the play, it doesn't really matter because what's going to happen is sure you did all of that 
you kill my ulti and I'm gonna have two cards on board because I'm not gonna let the Marco die. He probably attacks my leader with the Gecko. Uh, I'll probably just take that one, it's, it's fine. And the Sabu is not gonna attack, he's gonna use it as defense. And Or if he attacks with the Sabu, that's fine. And then the Luffy is gonna attack for seven, for eight, for seven, I will block out of that one. And my turn consists on playing Riley, uh, minus in the Sabu, minus in the Gecko, KO in the Sabo, use Marco to minus the Jack. Uh, Jack would be a six. Uh, he would have drawn one card, but it's another Jack. So depending on what he discards, he probably wouldn't even have a 2K. And attack everything for 6K, the, the rowing would also be minus. So everything on the board, I would probably be able to remove four cards out of the out of his board next turn, even with the amount of cards that I have. Uh, I would still be at one life, so it will be still be hard for him to kill me. And I still have a bunch of combo power that I can uh, get, get out of. And then from there, he only has one card in hand, two card in hand, and it, it, it's gonna become a really, really difficult for him to win. And I can start firing out peel offs. I can start firing off um, aces. Like there's so so much things that I can do from here. Um, that it, it's gonna be difficult for my opponent to win uh, from here once I have control of the board, right? Okay, so we're gonna go against Regu. Um, this matchup uh, it could be difficult because they are really fast. But um, we're also not terrible in this matchup. Uh, Orhan is not the worst. We have an ace. Kind of want to find out a play on two, but I guess I can do just peel off uh, or a play on three that is decent, like a, an ulti or something like that. And then, of course, we want to find the Sanjis and everything else, of, co of course. That would be really good. Uh, here I have a Marco attack for five. That's fine. Um, then let's do, let's fire the pill up. We found the ulti. That's pretty good. Uh, so I feel okay on this matchup now. Uh, they're gonna do a uh, perch into Black Maria, maybe. No, I'm sorry, into like one of these things. But now there is Black Maria, so now he can aggressively minus two. Sorry, uh, attacks for six. I'm definitely gonna combo early. I don't want to take any damage. Um, he goes, yeah, back to. Three doesn't, doesn't do much actually uh, on this turn, but in future turns he's gonna do a lot. Black Maria. Um, I do ulti and I'm gonna bottom deck all the, the remaining. I could play Boa next turn, but I think I do need the bodies on, on board. So uh, like Ace and uh, the Speed Yield are gonna be probably better next turn. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I'd rather do that. And I'm going to bottom deck uh, everything else because I also I'm looking for plays. I'm looking for the Sanji, which is going to be good, or the Riley or something uh, that I can come back into this board. Uh, mainly the, the Riley because I'm going second and uh, Riley on eight will be really strong to uh, just stabilize. Uh, so depending on what happens here, uh, I do kind of want to do that, of course. Uh, Chopper into Raju. So my opponent is firing at all cylinders, honestly. They're drawing cards, they're doing all that they're supposed to be doing. They're attacking, and yeah, that's the, they're definitely uh, punching uh, really hard right now. But we, uh, the, the nice thing about Marco, and that's why I, I say what I say about this leader, is that um, he does get to um, remove whatever the opponent has. Even though they have a bunch of cards in hand, if they want to save this porch, they're going to have to give us a lot of cards to do that. So by battle, he's very good at removing things. Like, why? Well, he's going to give us two 2Ks two here to, survive, to save this porch. Okay, that's not that amazing, right? And then I get to play Ace, play uh, the Speed Yield. Uh, so that's pretty good or board. And then next turn, if he does attack with Neji, I can use the leader ability to minus. And uh, we're very okay on that end, right? And then also the ulti is gonna serve as a blocker here, even though he can uh, he can um, minus it with the uh, with the seven drop, it's still going to be fine here. And then attacks for five, yeah, at least it eats one attack, of course. And attacks for seven on my leader, uh, and attacks for seven again. I could block this one, um, but I can take it here as well. Oh, one of the benefits of playing this deck is definitely having pilafs on, on life. Uh, so something useful here for sure. Uh, we did draw a lot of bricks per se in this hand. So I definitely do want to try to get rid of some. Especially the boa here. Another boa is not, uh, is not amazing. So definitely sending it to the bottom. But that, again, another benefit of playing uh, this leader. 
is definitely that you can play uh, Boa and I mean send them to the bottom. And here Riley uh, is perfect, so I can play Riley minus the other two. They're definitely gonna die this turn by battle, and uh, I can I get to destroy the Black Maria. So next turn, if there is a Judge, I can immediately um, I, I like he cannot recover all he's done. So uh, the Judge has an actual cost to him right now, and that's great. Like that we, this turn was perfect. That's why I was talking about like really being a, a great stabilizer. It's just like. Next turn, I also get to do another rally and get to KO his things, get to KO his his rusher, get to do all the things that I need to do, uh, which is great. Now, my, my opponent does have a, a good play on the A drop here. They're still at three live. They're gonna draw a lot of cards. They, they do everything that they need to do. This is the the highest of the high rolls of this deck that, that the uh, radio deck can do. Uh, the only thing that I guess he was missing was like bottom deck in my hand. But I, I guess I didn't give him any space to do that. He had to deal with my board every turn. So uh, definitely, uh, I, I will try to avoid that for next turn. But I'm also putting my opponent on, you have to keep developing board because I'm KOing your board every time, right? Um, so I do the leader ability minus the judge. Uh, and then uh, play Sanji. Play the uh, Riley, minus the Judge, KO the Judge, and then minus the other guy. Then I get to attack the uh, the Neji, which he can defend uh, this turn. It's not like he's un unreasonable for him to do. Uh, but then he's uh, committing a lot, like he's trying to go all in at that point, right? Now, another Riley, the third Riley would be like <laughs> insanely good. Um, but we'll see what the opponent does. Uh, he comboed. 2-1 case here, so probably he doesn't have any more 2 case. No, he has a Black Marie instead. Okay, which is okay. I guess it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Um, he has an AG now, so I guess to play another one. Uh, that will probably deal with my uh, Riley. Although, that's another thing with uh, uh, Riley here. He is able to uh, keep the minus uh, on, on the on the, uh, on the Neji here. So that's very strong for me. I can just combo out of this turn. He attacks for five, 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 and then attacks for six. That's great. So I don't have to take any damage this turn. Uh, I, I expect my opponent didn't wasn't expecting that many two Ks. He just wanted to remove the Riley, but I'm okay with that. Um, my hand is not terrible, though the chopper is very annoying. I will have to say. Um, that was a great draw here, because uh, now that gives me a little bit more gas, so I can keep going. Um, minus two on, I could do it on an, a, 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 on an AG, but like one of them is probably going to survive. And I kind of want to remove the small attackers. Like I want to remove two guys this turn. And, um, if I do it on the, on the Neji, I, I might not be able to remove two guys. So I, I kind of want to guarantee that by, uh, removing the Neji. And then I get to attack uh, the seven drop first, see what he does. If he wants to combo two cards, then we have a different problem. Uh, okay, so then here I get to attack the, the guy for six. And then I'm just gonna attack the uh, the Raju just to get rid of another attacker. Uh, so I don't think he's gonna defend that one. I draw two cards and then I uh, stop the other one from attacking. That's pretty good. If I knew I was going to draw another Pilaf, I would have kept the other Boa, but of course I, <laughs> I didn't know that. But I still, I have like ulti to draw or something else that I can do here. He attacks for five. I don't know why he should try to be dealing some damage, but he might be really needing the, uh, the rest of the hand. Uh, if there is another judge, it could be really bad for me, but... I mean, at that point, there's not much I can do. Uh, he does Rage instead, uh, which is good for me. Although, however, Porch here is very annoying. Um, opponent, I haven't seen him get another one. Yeah, I think my opponent messed up. He didn't have another uh, Neji, uh, which would have been able to remove like my Sanji or my Rally again uh, this turn. And then I have to see what happens from there. Uh, now he has another chopper to keep going, but yeah, that was uh, a mistake on my opponent's end for sure. But instead, he's going to attack my my life, which actually I would have been a, I would have been happier if he attacks my rally. Um, but as it happens, he didn't, of course. But that's fine. Um, now I'm at one life, which could be a scary. 
Uh, I just have to be careful here what I do here. Uh, I did draw the Rayleigh, but a little bit too late. Um, minus two to play this one at the bottom. I kind of kind of don't need another Rayleigh here. I have the one that I'm going to play next turn. If I play next turn, I'm probably going to have to play a, a blocker. Uh, this turn, I think I will be able to at least remove the, the Neji. And then put him to maybe one. And play a blocker. He can't get rid of the blocker, but it does require a specific card that he's been pitching every turn. And then he won't have that much done to, uh, to actually go for game. So we might be okay here, depending on what happens. Attacks for nine, I have to block, but I won't use the, 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 the Mark ability because he cannot play Judge anymore. Uh, so he might be able to bounce it back to my hand and then try to go for game if I, um, if I take it. So I'm okay with just blocking here. I just have to survive this turn and I should be able to win next turn. I have three uh, AK attackers, AO more attackers. Attacks for seven, if I combo out of this one, I will need a 7-7, seven, seven, so I need a 1k to survive. Um, so, or if I take this one, he goes 9-5, so I still need a 1k to survive. So either a scenario that he does here, I need a 1k to survive. Uh, so might as well just take the life here. And we did get a 1k, so it was just enough here to survive. And yeah, that was uh, the game. And that's why we play so many 2Ks in this deck because uh, the deck wants to defend a lot. And you saw that through the, the whole game, we were able to do so. And now just impossible for my opponent to survive. So it was a great demonstration for the deck. Uh, I think um, it really showcased like the values of this deck for, for, for sure. And it was a really good draft from uh, the radio player. He did make one misplay, but that misplay also led to him being able to attack my um, my life instead of like uh, a Riley. So give it and take, right? Uh, I don't know what would have happened exactly if he would have attacked with like a bigger number into Riley, or what would exactly would have happened here. So um, it makes a, a huge difference in that case, of course. And we have a game against Black Yellow Luffy, another probably uh, highly competitive deck of the next format. Uh, so let's see how we do against it. Uh, we do have Ivan Cup, which I think is a really good card in this matchup. Uh, early game, of course, because uh, you do get to play it if you get the, the 2k counter at the hand. It doesn't really matter, but at least you get to attack with it and draw a card and serves as a pseudo blocker because they have to attack it or just keep getting value out of that one. So... Um, a very interesting card for this matchup for sure and then um and i don't the, the reason why it's good is i can attack with four and they don't they they don't have to take a life like they they have like it attacks under five so i'm not forced to giving them life and they have to awaken on themselves so that's pretty good for my end um example a like i was saying I have six cards in hand, so I get to draw. And now I get to use my Marcos ability and cycle and try to get to my uh, bigger place. Uh, so I'm gonna bottom deck one of the two Ks here because I have too many at this point. And I kind of want to try to find a Rayleigh or something so I can uh, keep going for, 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 for my turn, of course. Now, uh, I assume they're gonna play a Luffy like they always do, but I assume he has to attack my Ivankov, which is good. And he decides to attack my leader, which is a mistake, because then I, I can just defend and draw another car, uh, which is, I mean, uh, I'll take it, because it gets me closer to my win conditions, of course. Uh, I could peel off, I could play a boa. Boa, uh, unfortunately, I forgot that you don't, uh, it doesn't affect Luffy's, but I still think boa was a good play here. Uh, because it just gives me uh, an attacker here that I can just minus with the Marco and that prevents the Luffy from actually getting too aggressive because I can just easily uh, KO it with like a Boa because I have an AK now and I can still play on curve and I just want to develop the Boas and, and the cards that I have on board, right? Because next turn is probably going to be a, a, a Sanji turn if we, if, we, if we get to draw like a Riley or something. Uh, he plays Sabo, which is not bad and he takes a life 
which is interesting. Uh, I, I can at this point attack, but now he does take the last life. He's gonna heal too. So he's kind of forcing me into uh, attacking his life and then like, he can just bottom deck it and then play from there, but it's fine. Uh, he can also just combo cards from his hand. So it's not the biggest deal for him. Um, attacks for seven. Uh, I will combo out of that one and see if he attacks the Bankov. He will attack the bank of, which is fine. It's not that big, big of a deal. Uh, at this point, I guess I can just do pilafs this turn. I could do bow again too. It's not bad, but I do have to do the Marco so I, I so I can kill the Luffy. So double pilaf, I I think is fine with me. And then uh, maybe kill his. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need two Sanjis. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna have time for two Sanjis. Maybe I will, but uh, I, I want to keep my options open. And uh, two Sanjis might be a, a little bit bricky here. Uh, I do get to attack with the Boa for eight. See what my opponent does if he wants to combo out of this one. I get to attack it for a bigger number. And then we take ca cards out of the hand, which is pretty good for us. And then my opponent put that Luffy on top. Signaling that he has another one in hand, I guess. I could play Marco, try to risk it. I could play the Marco blocker, which is not bad. I could draw two cards. And I think I settled on drawing two cards because I don't want him to keep the Luffy on, on top of the deck. So I just rather just get some cards here. I have a Boa, which is not the worst of board, board presence. And next turn, I kind of want to find the Riley so I can uh, do Riley into uh, Sanji. And that would, even though, even though it is not as good against Gekko Moria turn, a Gekko Moria turn. I don't think he had a good Gekko Moria turn because he hasn't been pitching like the babies or he hasn't been, um, he doesn't have that many uh, fight drops on, on hand. So he really doesn't have a good Gekko Moria turn. So this turn he had to play something like this to make himself a, a, a 9k and then now next turn he can start doing Gekko stuff. He even has to pitch a Gekko here, uh, which is fine with me. Uh, he is a 9k, however, but it's fine. Uh, he's going to attack with the one drop, really. I guess that's fine. He doesn't really want to attack with the Sabo because I can just KO it easily. And again, that's the power of Marco. Like, they cannot be that aggressive, but he is going to get aggressive. Uh, I would have just tried to take two lives here. That would have been the, the best case scenario. He does, however, try to kill my boa and he succeeds. Uh, and that hurts, but it's not the worst case scenario i think i will just put a, a bow on top that way i, I just it, she serve as a blocker and i'm still gonna be able to develop a, a good boar here and it's not like the boa was gonna attack the leader anyway uh this turn so it's not the biggest problem uh, i do have to lock the uh the blocker he, that he cannot attack uh, because I cannot lock the, the the Luffy, but this is a good a good case scenario for me. Uh, this turn, I assume there's going to be a Gecko. Gecko attack for eight with the Luffy and develop something else here, like a Sabo and a and a Luffy. I assume. Yeah, there you go. Definitely, what's gonna happen? Play the Luffy. Uh, make these guys AK both if he wants to, which he should. Yeah, and then play the. Uh, Sabo make the leader a 4k so by all means the deck is doing what they're supposed to do uh, and we're still uh, here like battling it of course uh, the nice thing about my deck as I've been saying uh, is something like uh, Riley will still be able to uh, like control my opponent's board very well uh, here I just don't have to take the eighth and and yeah I mean from here I can just deal with my opponent's board a little bit and attack him uh, let's see what we draw. We draw Pilaf, which is not bad. And then now what we can do is a Pilaf into uh, Sabo into the blocker, which is really good. I attack for six, uh, signaling that I'm going to attack it with like a bunch of cards here. And I can get a uh, value out of all my attacks. Again, the biggest pro like the biggest uh, upside of playing the, uh, the Marco here. He has to let it die and then uh, I get to attack the leader. So I get full value here on everything. I get another attack on Boa and I get another attack on um, on the nine drop. So I did get another card from his hand and I, I and I got a, a, another card here or he get, I get the blocker here, which would be still good here. 
Now, he does have a couple of attacks here next turn, but... Okay, I get to play the Marco, draw two cards, and it's all good, right? I would still have the, the energy to attack into nine if he de does let the Marco die, so it was still gonna happen this way. Uh, we just get to, uh, like, blow off uh, a Radical Beam or something like that, of course. Now, uh, he plays another Gecko, but Gecko playing it first is okay with me. And he doesn't get to play the, the Luffy Pop because he has to get rid of... I mean, he, he could, but then he won't have the extra life, which I think my opponent values a lot. Uh, having the extra life in, uh, against a board that is this wide, and then I can just probably have... I'm playing blue, right? I could have like a Gravity Blade, remove his Sabos, and having that extra life... Uh, every time he does a gecko, it's important. Something that I, he did that I I was a little bit surprised that he did was that he KO his own gecko. Um, that is surprising. Uh, I think he values trying to deal me the damage this turn, survive another turn, and then next turn try to go for a game. That is okay. That is not bad. Because, uh, but I mean, it's not the greatest, right? I get to attack for two. Like, he's trying to pressure my 2k counters, which I do have a lot. Now, here, he has to keep attacking my leader, right? Like, try to put me to one, and then next turn, trying to go for game. Is the best policy here. Or I guess he could attack my boa. Since I play so many 2k's, but... I do keep up again. <laughs> one of the, the benefits to having so many 2Ks, of course. And then I get to play Speed Jill now. And the same thing as before. Uh, ooh, that's a really good one, though. That's Riley. Uh, so I can play him right now and, and be okay. And even though the Riley... Okay, so this is what we're going to... We, we will be able to remove his board this turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, minus the Luffy. Uh, because the Luffy, if we minus it, uh, next turn he won't be able to attack with it. And we still, we're still we still going to be able to remove uh, his board here. So I think the Luffy is the most sensible option here. So we get to attack 9 into the Gecko. He probably has to let it die or sacrifice the blocker, which would be even greater for me. Because these things are, are dying this turn. I don't think he can survive. Uh, he can... Well, maybe he has one case here that he can uh, allow them to survive, but... He doesn't. He just decides to uh, let it go. Since I have so many attackers. So then blocking or doing anything else is whatever. Now, the, his best option is if he has a Luffy. Uh, he can take the life, go to 6, play the Luffy, KO the Marco, and try to go for game. Instead, he goes for 10 drop, but 10 drop doesn't do anything. I think I just went out of that 10 drop. He doesn't get to heal. He doesn't get to... Like, yeah, he kills a Marco, but who, who cares? <laughs> it's not uh, really that important. If anything, the Ace would have been a better pop there, but... Even then, I guess, it's, it's terrible. Uh, yeah, if, if he didn't have a, a baby Luffy, then... I guess he didn't have anything. And then he has to go for five, which I can just easily take here. Because th there's no way that he can kill me here. He can do eight. And attack for six, which I can take again, because I don't care. And then he's just going to go for six, which I do have a 2k. Um, he probably drew into the Luffy. Uh, with the other Luffy. Uh, I don't know. That, that was a, a really bad play if he did have the Luffy. He could have also done the... Well, he had to have one of them. The Luffy or the um, the the Finger Pistol. So either option was better than what he did, I think. Either the Luffy or the Finger Pistol to try to go for a game. Um, he could have won, I think. Probably. If he does it correctly. I only have a 2k and... Um, and two one Ks. I don't know. Depending on the numbers that he does, uh, I could have been able to survive that turn. Um, 
but I mean that's 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 the thing. I still think I probably would be able because the Luffy was minus, and the uh, the Ace was gonna be only six, so six six five minus four, and then he has six done to try to go for a game. It is possible, uh, but it is also possible for me to survive. He has to go like a eight, and I do have eight like like nine in hand. So I think I still would have been able to win. Uh, maybe not if he plays the Luffy, if he had the Luffy instead of the finger pistol, but uh, either way, um, I think it, it showcased a little bit of the, uh, the power of the deck. Uh, if we had, would have Riley a little bit earlier, would have been a lot better. Um, if this matchup is a little bit more difficult for you, you can also play uh, Perona, so you can shuffle their hand. Uh, there's a lot of options for this matchup, which uh, like, depending on what the worst matchup is, you can adapt with this deck, which is pretty good. All right, we're going to play against this guy. I forgot his name. Kayara, I think. I uh, forgot the name. But um, it's an aggressive deck. Uh, I do play the Ivankov. I put the Pilaf on the bottom because I don't think I'm going to have time to do a double Pilaf turn. I kind of want to develop bodies every turn. Uh, so I think one is good enough, especially because I can do it like Boa plus Pilaf. I think that's what's going to end up happening, but I don't think I can do two of them. I didn't have a 2k on the first attack, so I did have to take that one. Um, it is fine, however. Uh, I do want to attack twice this turn. So... I think it's okay. Uh, the Pilaf is counterproducent here. I do want to develop bodies because next turn he might be able to at he attacks with both of them. I do want to be able to remove both of them. So uh, definitely um, developing bodies is the way here. Because the Ivan Cup is probably going to get removed next turn. So he attacks for five, I attack for five, and then I attack for, um, for five on the mark. He probably has to combo out of this, which again is good for me. Because then he won't have that many activations with the leader. He takes. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, he could play the 6 drop now. If he does have it. Attacks for 6. He does have the 6 drop. But I'm able to block and combo a 2k here. Uh, I want him to attack the bank up for six again, and, and that's okay with me. He plays the another one of these guys, which is fine with me. Uh, he still has to do a, a 6k attack on the van cup, right? He gets the uh, the earth one loose which allows him to keep up a dawn so i kind of want to pressure his if he attacks for like five four i do will combo out of that because then i will be able to pressure his board back and then yeah that's what i was saying yeah exactly so i i i i, I will be able to probably attack his board here and then here i'll do marco ability put the pilaf but i don't know if i put it at the bottom or at the top i think i could put it at the top for the meantime because i don't know if i'm gonna need it uh and i'm gonna minus this guy here the wiper and then i attack with marco if he wants to give me cards that's fine i'll take them Or if he wants to give me the event, it's also fine, I guess. He did give me the event, so... Uh, let's attack the guy again. I mean, he has to give me a 2k now. He does. So then I get to attack the... Uh, this one here. And then I just uh, do the, the bunny here. I didn't want him to... Um, to draw cards here. I think he's very starved from four cards and this is just good enough for me. Now I assume he's going to attack for seven. This guy, it's fine. I just let it die. It's not that big of a deal. I have the Riley, which is going to catch me up this turn. 
So I don't need to waste combo on him. If he attacks my guys, they're serving as blockers. I'm okay with this. Uh, he does have, uh, he can have uh, his board again, full board next turn. Attack for six. I, I, I definitely just let that one die. He, he learned his lesson about attacking for five on that one. And then, um, and then he plays another one. He keeps up a corner, uh, allegedly. Um, so he's not, he doesn't have a bad hand at the moment. He has a full board and I kind of have to deal with a couple of things that he's got on board. But I think I will be able to deal with at least three things. Because I'm able to, again, uh, next turn I probably do another Boa plus Pilaf. So putting these things on the top are fine. Uh, I just minus this guy, the Calgara, and then uh, play Riley, kill that guy, and minus this one. Then I'm able to attack for eight this one, and then he has to use the event plus something else to get rid of it, to save him, and that's okay with me, I guess. It's not that big of a deal. I'm okay with that. This, every every two cards that I take out of his hand, the closer we get to game, uh, we still have three lives, so he won't really be able to go for game. I don't think so. We is, we have two 2k corners and a 1k, uh, so it is very risky for him to go for game, and he doesn't get to develop that much. He can also try to deal with the, uh, the cards on board, but I don't think they have anything that can actually deal with this, unless they play Raigu or something like that. He instead plays the five drop, uh, allows him to get another uh, world tree and then he keeps searching trying to get more events that he can do uh, he gets a 2k and now this turn he can attack for a lot but uh, again we do have uh, a boa next turn so we're not in a bad spot per se and we'll have a bunch of attackers for uh, for him so we'll be able to clear his board or at least be good enough to not uh, die I think very important uh we do combo the five he could try to kill the uh the boa which again i'm, I'm okay with this it's not that big of a deal i do take this one um because i'm gonna go low on hearts in hand and I, I think being a two at this point of the game is fine Uh, put the Sanya at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna need him. Uh, if anything, I'm gonna need more counter power, so I'm gonna be looking for that next turn. Um, I do wanna get rid of both attackers here. Like, if he wants to save these two guys, uh, go ahead. But I do wanna be able to remove two guys this turn. He might defend them, but that's okay with me. Okay, he didn't defend that one. Will he defend this one? If he doesn't, that's fine with me. He is going to defend this guy. And then um, I do get the uh, the free kill here. I mean, they, they can attack. So again, he's still in the same spot and I have more corner right now. He can only attack with three creatures. And I mean, he, he I have less life, I guess, but it's still a little bit risky. I have wasted a lot of his combo power now. So as long as I can survive with these two cards on hand on board, uh, I should be able to go for game next turn. So he also has to be uh, careful on that end. Attacks for five. I could take it and just attempt to go for game here. But I also don't have to take a five. It, uh, what, what I what I want to be sure is that he doesn't get to kill my Riley. Uh, he misclicked on the on the on the thing, but it doesn't matter because I did have two two Ks. And um, I was just gonna go for game here. So attack for ten, and then attack for the rest. So it didn't matter if he if he attach energy correctly here. Uh, he was still gonna die. Uh, this turn. All right, and when we're talking about like 
why I so customizable because uh, these are all the options that they didn't make into the deck but like they're so good that you can actually make them like ace dragon is also a good option like in, like you can add more top in and uh just make your your a drop turns and subsequent turns very very strong if black yellow luffy is like the, the biggest problem uh new gate and uh ace are gonna be good cards in the deck once they get released but right now they're not of course because they haven't been released but they're gonna be great options for the deck uh once they started this come out uh, if you need more defense early on it's if you don't if you didn't like the um the ivankov engine you can just play flamingo if you like to play pudding you can also play pudding uh you can play kaido you can play removal you can play uh, uh gravity blade if, if you probably sorrow you can play white snake or you can just straight up just play radical bean there's so many options that you have with this deck that it just it works it works very well it, it, it definitely uh showcase why the deck is so good and and depending on what the worst matchup is you can adjust and uh I, I, again i just haven't found out what's the bad matchup but i'm sure there is one and you can just adjust and overcome it based on what you have right uh with that being said thank you all for watching and have a good day